Hello everyone, welcome to Tommy Station. This is the first time I've had a chance to test the repairs and alterations to my U-boat for a long time. So this used to be activated by a magnetic on-off switch like this one here. And if you look where it's the blue, uh, I'm not sure what you call that, it says Meda. On the left there was another one but it, it got corrosion on it and it stopped working so it used to be activated with a magnet just swipe the magnet across the top so anyway I've now modified it and it's now got a remote control to switch it off and on this is a modified you can use them for many things garage doors and all sorts of things anyway it's been modified for my boat so my um, Corvette's got one as well and if I'm successful I can wear my captain's hat so without further ado let's go to the boat now then I'm hoping this is going to work right I've opened opened the rear valve so I don't know. Um, Robert Robert from Robert Strains was was interested in um, in seeing this working. Maybe yeah. So the back has gone down. Now we get the front to go down. Yeah. You see the bubbles there coming up through the valve. So that's working good. So let's have a look. See if it goes down any further. So at the moment, the, the rear half is underwater. Let's open that valve up again. There we go. This is a bit of um, a balancing act to get the valves to open and close the right times so let's move it forward to touch this is generally the first time I've tried this yeah so I was, I was about to say Robert from Robert Strains had some interest in this and uh, I said one day I promise I'll get it working but um, what we one thing another I had a few so I'm just going to push push this down okay so that seems to be the maximum flood there so what we're going to do close the valves and we'll bring it up so now the pumps inside are pumping the water out let's see it come up I don't know if this will pick up the, uh, the sound of the pumps. It's coming up nicely. There we go. So there's the all the air, uh, all the water pushed out of the tanks with the pumps. Oh then. It's very difficult to do everything with one hand. I'm going to open the forward valve again and let's try and get it to flood. So that's the forward tank flooding. Right, so that's the front down. Now let's try and get the stern under. I really hope this is successful. 
last time uh, it was embarrassing so this is very delicate control now so now I've got electros electric solenoid valves which are opening air from the tank for flooding There we go, there we go. So it's now submerged. Right, I'll just move that with my finger. So this is a, a partial success in that I just need to add a bit more weight to the bow. And it should go. So there's the starboard propeller turning. Yeah, I just need a bit more weight on the bow. And as you can see, at least two thirds of it are underwater. So I'm going to call this a partial success. There we go. So I can manoeuvre it on its propellers. So let's have a go at reversing. Last year when I tried it, the rear tank flooded because the valve jammed open. Um, then I replaced those valves with the solenoid valves then I had a problem with the battery so now it's got a brand new battery in it I also had then the issue with the um, the magnetic off on switch so I've now modified it as I said with the remote control switch So this is just going astern now on one screw, on one propeller. So what I'll do now, I'll bring it forwards on the port propeller and see if it'll just dip its nose under. Okay, see, here we go. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so there we go. It's submerged. I did it. So there we go. Now I'll blow the tanks. And hey ho, up she rises. So just maybe another 20 grams on the front. And this will be a successful project. This was designed with positive buoyancy. So the plan is even if the tanks are flooded, they shouldn't sink. You have to drive it under. And it's so far it's it's done that. So here we go. It's coming up now. You can see the bow lifting. Yeah, it's not easy to do this. Okay, so that's the pumps off. So that's it now. That's that it's um, that surfaced. So I'm sold a bit now. That proves that 
Um, if I had a longer pull, this would have gone under completely. Let's bring it over again. I'm going off zoom. Off. There we go. There we go, Robert. If you're watching, I've met my <laughs> met my obligation. I met my promise. I said I'd show you it working. There we are. Okay, so the captain got wet again. Okay, so thank you all for watching. Bye now.